All right, welcome to uh, video number eight, uh, day number eight. So got the countertops and this is what uh, it looks like, Corian. Uh, these are the little wings that uh, go in the corners of the bed, kind of like a nightstand. I hadn't taken out the old support, so uh, right now we're gonna go and uh, take the old supports out and get these ready and just close up this little corner. I'll try to record what's going on on, the, on this side. I don't have much room here to work with, but basically um, this little piece one by one is stapled and glued, which is a good idea. So I did get some glue, put it on the other side, but these staples were holding the uh, old countertop whoops <laughs> and I can't beat them out of here because this is a pretty thin piece of panel panel in here so I don't want to break it oh man it's supposed to be a walk around bed but I can barely have one foot on one side there but yeah on this side uh, this compartment here there's a bunch of wiring that goes down to the uh, the the backup lights the brake lights um, this stuff that goes up is a uh, backup camera and power for the lights up above outside in the back so <clears throat> it's kind of dusty in there so I'm thinking of a, I'm gonna put something in this cavity down here to maybe keep some of the dust from coming into the bedroom So I got I already cut a new piece that uh, is a little long because I gotta peel that end off, and then I'm gonna need the I'm gonna cut a bigger the the two by one for the back to put the screws in, and then this is the old silicone that was uh, holding the uh, old countertop it wasn't holding I guess but kind of sealing the old countertop to the wall. There we go. So I gotta trim that, cut that back a little. Because we will be, uh, it'll be in the way of the new counter. Get all these staples out. I had to get a new staple gun. These are like, um, I'm not even sure what gauge they are. They're like 20, I can't remember. I got a box somewhere. But they're smaller than 18. And 18 is the smallest thing I could get at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, so yeah, what does that say? It doesn't say. But yeah, I have to buy this little uh, um, nail gun. It's a not even sure what the brand is, but it's got a. It does the little crown, three sixteenth crown staples that are up to three quarter inch long. Fasco tools. There we go. Part number is F1B 4919. Because 
everything I have is pretty big. All right, so now this will fit. So what I'm gonna do, kind of what I did on the other side, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and raise this up because the new Connors are exactly half inch and the old one was uh, five eighths. So if I don't do that, uh, we'll have a, a gap kind of where the uh, this trim ends. So if I don't uh, if I don't raise that up a little, um, we'll have a gap there. And I cannot get any more of that trim. I tried to order that from Jayco, and apparently they don't make it anymore. Going on, Daisy. Oh, man, I'm gonna get stuck in here. You can't get here. You can't help. Looks like a line on here, I'm not sure. Like a knife. Don't know if I did that when I was cutting this out, possibly. Possibly. So paper All right, now back here. that's pretty flat So I'm gonna go cut a piece of two by one. That's uh, where's my measuring tape? Nineteen and a half. Um, I guess I need to trim this down too. Huh? and a half for the front here all right 19 and a half an inch and a half be back all right i'm back i got this uh insulating blanket i guess um that i'm thinking i'm just gonna kind of fold it down in here Just to keep some of that dust. Because it's pretty deep. I think that'll help. There we go. Keeping 
it out of this Romax. Yeah, I have a 120 volt outlet right next to the uh, to the bed on this side, which I think is on the inverter too. So that gives me power um, off a of battery. But yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna do that. Um, something similar on this side so there's not like framing in this wall this wall actually feels pretty solid there is there's a some kind of bracing on this side yeah I think they pack outside walls with insulation too um, so I'm just gonna go roughly where the uh, holes were before pre-drill two holes in here just so we don't split it drill them kind of on an angle I'm drilling on an angle because uh, this will be my only axis so I don't want to have screws going down that way right Jayco has these uh, wood paneling screws, I guess you'd call them. They're kind of combo square drive. Uh, I used a little more than I needed to in the kitchen. So, I'm trying to ration them a little bit. But we have enough on this side, I believe. So yeah, I see I see a line here. I think I made that maybe when I was cutting the uh, the old countertop off. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball half inch below that. The other thing is uh, we're fairly level, maybe uh, passenger side is a little high, so I'm going to call some of this. Just so we keep in with the same. Gotta nail the other piece. Going not quite a quarter, but a little more than an eighth. Yep, 
something like that. All right. Uh, I want to grab my uh, clamps. I don't have to touch this again. I'm gonna go recut. Uh, there's a piece here on this end that uh, could make a little longer. One thing is, I did not. Oh, nice. oh there it is. So we can make that two and three eighths. fit maybe what's not gonna fit is any staples in there It's good. We'll put some silicone in our clamp. Just like on the other side. We have a little wobble. Because it looks like. 
looks like this is loud at all. But silicone's gonna score that off. All right, and the guy said just put a couple of spots, not uh, a solid bead. And the guy I'm talking about is uh, Troy from GSS that uh, made these counters for me. Yeah, perfect. Great success. Put some pressure so it's pushed in against the wall and not uh, away from it. That's it for a bit, and then uh, move on to other things. Uh, welcome to our video number eight in the series of uh, things we're doing to the motorhome before our big trip. We got five weeks and a few days left before the trip. So last, uh, where we left off, Dave's just yawning. Um, we got these uh bedside nightstands i guess um finished i'm gonna go uh caulk around the edge where it meets the wall still um on all the counters so that hasn't been done yet um one other thing i've done is i went and I used the silicone around perimeter where floor meets the wall uh, including bathroom kind of along all these edges um, just we don't want any water getting behind the floor um, next thing is uh, getting the bathroom counter set I installed a new curtain rod for that curtain to keep things from flying off those shelves when we're traveling uh, need to get uh, a little piece of support added underneath the sink and then we have uh, uh, some stuff loose that's under there that I'm going to just staple so it's not making noise while we're traveling. And we'll go on from there. Get plumbing connected and start stapling trim around all the walls. All right, so the bathroom's ready to go. Uh, what I've done here, there's a, I think it's a backflow preventer valve it was just kind of sitting loose you can see it's been rubbing against the cabinet so I put a strap and I wrapped some of the uh, the foam insulation not for insulation but for um, just as a vibration isolation I guess so it's it's not making noise while we're driving these will get connected to the plumbing um, I stapled this board this was just kind of sitting loose here but uh, yeah everything's ready to go I already dry fitted everything I put the uh, faucet back on while it's out I'll do the uh, the drain once it's in place because it kind of drops down into into that one so we'll put some a uh, couple of silicone dots around and uh, put the counter in all right welcome back been a little bit of a progress i haven't been making uh videos last couple of days i've just been uh picking up some 
time after work. Uh, but basically the back is completely done. Um, kitchen uh, is in progress. In the bathroom here, we got the new toilets in. I'll touch base on that a little bit. Um, still waiting on to pick up the backsplash to finish the bathroom, I guess. But um, all the trim is around the floors. And we're working on the, on these counters. Um, I added a tape light that's just kind of hanging there because the counter here is not glued in yet. I need to still get underneath for a couple things. But today, uh, we're going to focus on this counter where the range is going. Um, I got it all cut and put the counter in place. There were some supports that needed to be cut out on the side to uh, make space for uh, this framing that came with the counter. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Um, some eighth inch plywood strips underneath to close this gap because the counter is only half inches. The old counter was five eighths, so we have a a gap down here. So I need to raise that up to seal that. Plus, that's going to help with the range. The range sits a little bit high. Same reason because it's just an eighth inch low. Um, but I cut in the box for the uh, receptacle. I'll run that wire. I also cut in the box for a receptacle on this side. So we have an easy one to get to and it'll come off the receptacle that sits in that corner. Um, so we'll work on getting this counter set, run some wires for this receptacle. The stove has a 12 volt uh, oven light and the lights on the knobs that need the uh, wire as well so we'll get that done and if you guys are wondering the door did come with a dented handle I have a replacement one on order and here's my supervisor you ready Daisy all right let's go <laughs> 